All right, guys, I'm back with more persona. So I don't know much we can do here now. I do. I, I think at this point in the game, there isn't much we can do except make lunch. Once again, ingredients. Once I'm able to run around the town, can I go out? It would be best not to leave today. Of course it won't. Alrighty. It's raining. Something might appear on television. Turn to your room and watch TV. Oh, right. Today's a rainy day, so we're going to see who's, like, going to die on the Midnight Channel, right? It's raining tonight. I never guessed it. Will something appear on the TV? Well, we shall see. In other Inaba related news, meteorologists are predicting heavy fog throughout the That's year. That's not good. The region has seen an abnormal amount of fog over the past few years, and the cause of the climate change is unknown. Shadows? Whatever the reason, residents of the Inaba area should be extra careful. Yeah, no kidding. They might get abducted and thrown to TVs and then forced to face themselves. Our broadcast tonight was extended to bring you up-to-date news on the incident in Inaba. The time is now midnight. Woohoo! Oh, now we got something. The image is there again. It seems that if the conditions are met, you can see it as many times as you want. A silhouette appears. It seems to be a woman. Looks like she's wearing a kimono. <gasps> no! You! You can go! The image is so out of focus that you can't tell who it is. What would happen if you touched the image and then they turn it off? Would you be able to touch the person on the screen? The image disappeared. You should speak to Yosuke and Chie about this tomorrow. You decided to go to bed for tonight. I think I should get a bigger TV. Just saying. Igor! We're back with the minibar! This is... Welcome. Hello, Igor. What's up? Do not be alarmed. You are fast asleep in the real Seeing world. Seeing as I were in a car with a minibar, I would assume so. I have summoned you within your dreams. Will I be able to see you in the room at all? Seems you've been summoned to the velvet room or car. And so we meet again. What's up, Igor? This is a space that only those who have, in one way or another, entered into a contract may enter. The thing is that I never physically signed a contract. In the third game, I did. In this game, I just introduced myself. In your daily life, you subconsciously heard the call to awaken, and you chose to follow the destiny of your inner so voice. Is that automatically a contract? Thereby, enacting your glorious awakening to your power. I take that as yes. Hold on to this. Is this the velvet key? Yep. I knew it! From this night forth, you are our guest in this velvet room. So can I only see you in my dreams? Your destiny will require you to hone your power. And for that, you will inevitably require our help. Okay. There is but one prize for this assistance. What? You must abide by your contract and assume responsibility for all decisions you may That's make. That's more or less what a contract is. I understand. Very well. The persona you have acquired. Yes. It is a side of you that shows itself when you face the world around you. Okay. Perhaps you can think of it as a facade of determination you wear to face various difficulties in life. Your persona ability, however, is that of the wild card. Compared to that of others, it is very special. Which means I can hold as many personas as I please. Well, 
least up to 12, I believe. It is like the number zero. Empty, yet holding infinite potential. You said that last time itself. in three. Special. The persona ability is the power to control one's own heart. And the heart is strengthened through social link time. As you form bonds by becoming involved with others, your own social links will gradually develop. The power of these social links is what will determine your persona's ability. Other personas. Control one's heart. Social links are necessary for more than strengthening your persona. Okay. At times, they will help light the way to the truth you're searching for. So it's not just getting points for personas now. There's going to be another, another reason for them. They're making them more important. Where will your awakened power of the wild card take you? At least you? I hope that's what they're meaning. I look forward to traveling the road of your destiny together. Yeah, because you have a <laughs> nice ass car. Till we meet again. So, are we going to meet in your car? Or. What? I don't get it. Alright, Wednesday, we gotta make sure we're in that Tartarus place. Do I have off school Sunday? Yosuke! Yo! Yo, you. You saw what was on last night, yep. right? I couldn't tell who it was, but if someone's shown up on TV, we can't ignore it. No, we can't. It. Let's go check it out after school. Maybe Teddy can tell us something. I think it's Yukiko. If it turns out someone was thrown in again, there really might be a culprit behind all this. Even if it is something about that place that's killing the victims. If someone's using that world as a weapon, that's unforgivable. So let's do this! We need to find the culprit, no matter what it Can takes. Can I develop a social link with you as, like, my bro? There's no way the police can do it. Who'd believe that the murderer kills people by throwing them into the TV? That is very, very true. That is very true. Uh... <laughs> you do... <laughs> you do it! No. Um... Let's bring an end to this. Yeah, I agree. Tried sticking my head in the TV last night the way you did, and it actually worked. Whoa, you can get in without me? I think I could do that now because I have the same power. Oh, now I'm not that special. Persona, wasn't it? Could be that we got this gift from someone specifically so we could solve the case. And who is this spe special someone? Then again. You managed to go inside the TV and get your persona first. Yeah. I feel like as long as you're with me, I can find the culprit and crack this case. So maybe the leader. Well, let's do our best. Even with so much mystery swirling around, Yosuke is trying his hardest to move on. You sense a fate stirring a friendship between you and Yosuke. Social link? Holy shit! Is this gonna be the magician art? Yeah! I saw your persona. Thou art I, and I am thou. Thou hast established a new bond. It brings thee closer to the truth. Thou shalt be blessed when creating the personas of the magician Arcana. Oh, that's cool. This is really cool. As you form bond with Yosuke, you feel the power in your heart strengthening. You call it Igor's words. The persona ability is the power to control one's own heart. And the heart is strengthened through That's bonds. cool that he can whisper in my head and creepy at the same time. As you form bonds by becoming involved with others, 
Your own social links will gradually develop. Awesome. The power of these social links is what will determine your persona's abilities. Social links. Is this is this bond with Yosuke what Igor was talking about? You have established the Yosuke Hanamura social link of the Magician Arcana. Yosuke's determination in battle has been DUDE! That's cool! Oh, that's cool! Yosuke can now take a mortal blow for you in battle! Oh, that is nice! Okay, so definitely establishing social links have become more important. That's cool. When you receive a blow that would otherwise kill you, your ally, ally will take the hit for you during battle. So you, so I created a friendship for you so you can become a sacrifice. Awesome. Achie, um, about yesterday. I'm sorry we worried you. Oh, no, never mind that. Is Yukiko still not here? Uh, I haven't seen her. Huh? Y Yukiko-san? Uh, no. At least I haven't seen I her I think today. it's the reporter that's killing everybody. It seems like everybody's interviewed has, has shown up on the Midnight Channel. Oh man, what should I do? Hey, is that stuff you were talking about for real? You know, all that about how people showing up on the Midnight Channel is related to that other world? Uh, yep. Oh, we were just talking about that. We're thinking of checking it out later. The person on TV yesterday, I... I think it was Yukiko. Knew it. That kimono looks like the one she wears at the inn, and she wore it during the interview a few days ago, too. That wasn't a few days ago, that was like yesterday. I got worried, so I emailed her last night, but she hasn't responded. Uh -oh. I called her earlier in the evening, though, and she said she'd be at school so today. So she's safe up until our world gets foggy, and when our world gets foggy, then she's in trouble. I... Calm down. We get the picture. And you still haven't heard from her? <sighs> no. So wait, if she's gone missing, then who's running the inn? You summed up the information you gained in the other ward for Chie. What's that supposed to mean? Wait, are you saying Yukiko was thrown in there? Uh, yes. We don't know yet for sure. We should check to see if she's safe first. So why don't we go find out? Give her another call. Let me guess, nothing. <sighs> no good. Her voicemail picked Shit, up. Shit, she's in that world. She's not answering. She's in Tartarus. Are you serious? Then is Yukiko-san inside that place? Uh, that would be my guess. Just stop, stop it! Something must have come up, like an errand or something. Oh, stop making excuses! We know the truth. Oh, or, or she might be helping at the inn. I mean, she wouldn't be able to answer herself if that's it. Yeah, but... She would at least notify you. Yeah, but would she skip school no, for that? No, she wouldn't. Well, I'll give the inn a call. Um, got the number here somewhere. Come on, Yukiko, pick up. Oh, is this Yukiko? Thank God she's there. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I see. So wait, is she there? It was nothing. <laughs> I'll email you again later. <sighs> she was over at the inn. I'm still not convinced that she's safe. She said they had a big group reservation and she had to help out. Yeah, now that I think about it, this has happened before, too. At least once a year. She said she'll be at the inn tomorrow, too. 
So she's not in danger? Oh, for crying out loud, Yosuke! You got me worried over I'll nothing! I'll get over it! It would, it would have been a huge possibility of her getting thrown down there. She was totally fine! The fact is that it's not even foggy yet, so I would assume she probably wouldn't get thrown in until later. And you were all, is Yukiko-san inside that place? Oh, 